Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be giving you my opinions on tracing. Is it okay to trace? Is it cheating? Is it a good tool? I'm going to run through all of those arguments but before I start talking about tracing I'm just going to tell you quickly about the artwork that I'm working on in this video and it is a piece where there are lots of bunnies and they're at a disco. It is a piece for work but I liked it so I filmed it and I'm putting it up on YouTube as well and I'm doing it on Bristol board. I lined it with Unipin fineliners and I'm using markers, a mixture of all the brands I have to colour it in, using a little bit of Faber-Castell gold pen and some white gel pen too. So that is what I am doing in the visual part of the video. But let's get on to the discussion because I'm sure that's why you all clicked on this video because tracing is quite a controversial topic in the art community I found. To me personally, I've never traced, obviously, okay, I've never traced over an image where it's someone else's work, which that's not really what I'm talking about here because that's wrong. Never trace over someone else's work and claim it as your own. That's just not okay. That's not cool. So don't do it or Charlie will cry. I've traced over my own sketches to clean up the line work so in this piece for example I sketched it on some printer paper then I went over it with my light box on some Bristol board just to clean up the lines and to make it look a bit nicer so I didn't have to keep erasing. That is the only tracing I've done but I've never traced a reference to get a accurate sketch or anything like that. I do know some people do that when they are doing hyper realism and they're doing pet commissions and they're doing it to speed up the process. I'm not saying in this argument in any of my opinions that that is outrightly wrong and I'm not calling anyone out when I'm presenting my views. These are just my own opinions and the reasons and arguments why I personally don't trace and never have traced. Okay, so now that little bit's out of the way, I'm gonna start off with the argument that tracing is a useful tool for growth and to get a accurate sketch. So a lot of people argue that tracing is a good tool to help you learn how to draw proportions, help you learn how to draw certain shapes, and it's a very good method of teaching you. And this is quite a well-known argument amongst many artists, and they also claim that the masters traced as well, like the great art masters of history. And I personally never found this to be true, but that's partly because, like I said, I've never traced, I was never taught this way. It just has never crossed my mind to trace. And I think that after learning that this is what a lot of realists do, it has made me feel a little bit better about my own art. Not, not because I'm saying what they're doing is cheating. That's not what I'm saying. Because I always thought that it was all free-handed. And that can be a little bit off-putting to beginners. You're gonna be thinking, I can never draw that accurately. So in some ways, I dislike that because it's misleading. And I do think that if you do trace sometimes and you do trace your sketch to get it very very accurate you should be transparent about that well you need to be translucent when you're tracing because you need to see what you're tracing sorry that that was a bad joke but anyway i do think if you are using tracing as a tool to get an accurate sketch because i do understand that part of the argument that if you do have the skills to freehand but you are speeding up the process because you have a client that wants something ultra realistic they want a spitting image of their pet but drawn i do understand how that can be a tool but i personally don't use it so that is the argument that it's a tool and it can be a good tool like i say for tracing your own artwork for cleaning up a sketch and it's a tool for speeding up in some cases but i personally don't do it so moving on to the other side of the argument where people say that tracing becomes a crutch and hinders your growth and i do think that this is true i do think that you can become quite comfortable in the fact that you're tracing over a reference image because it's taught you how to draw and you think it's just speeding up the process and if you trace all the time you won't ever be able to draw freehand and if you're using tracing as a tool surely the end goal is to be able to draw it freehand where you won't have to trace anymore but if you're tracing all the time it's becoming a crutch 
so it's not really helping you in the process of learning how to draw. That's my personal view on that part. I've heard from people that when they started learning drawing they were taught how to trace and they were told that they had to trace and that would teach them how to draw and they say that it hinders their growth because they don't learn things as shapes because when you're drawing anatomy and poses objects I look at them as shapes or I try to look at them as shapes and draw them that way rather than lines if that makes sense if you're just drawing over lines all the time you're not necessarily looking at the shapes and the forms of things and learning how to compose them you're just tracing over lines again that's my personal view on it and also if you're tracing you're not necessarily learning how to draw movement because when you're tracing over a line especially when you're using maybe ink rather than just a pencil you're tracing it quite slowly to get the accuracy so you're not doing big lines and sometimes big swooping lines are really useful in getting movement into a piece so this can make your work look quite stiff and also it does hinder your style development again if you're doing photorealism that's not necessarily a problem but if you're wanting to develop your own, own style and all you're doing is tracing the sketch you're not going to do that necessarily your work's just going to look a little bit flat and stiff it's much better in my opinion to draw from observation and work out proportions and look at shapes and do big lines and just experiment that way personally and also there's the final argument i suppose that tracing is cheating and i've got to be very very honest here that if i trace something i traced an outline even if it was for the purposes of realism and i know this is a very controversial opinion i would feel like i'm cheating and i do understand that that isn't the case i'm not saying that realists that do trace are cheating if they have the skills to draw freehand it is just speeding up the process i do understand that but if i personally trace i would just personally feel like i was cheating because for me i like to be able to draw it freehand i feel that that's an achievement if i draw a portrait of an animal or a person and it looks like the person and i've done that freehand i personally think that's a great achievement so those are my opinions on tracing let me know in the comments below whether you agree, whether you have different opinions, whether you have new arguments that I haven't thought of. I really would love to read your comments and read what you think. Just be nice and respectful about it if you disagree. It's okay to disagree as long as you do it nicely. But that is all for today's video. I have put this piece up on my Redbubble if you would like prints or merchandise with it on because it's probably one of my favourite illustrations. I really like how it's turned out. So I will leave a link to that down below. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.